Well, good afternoon guys. It is Friday the 8th of March today. Uh, I'm back down the tributary, the small river, as you can see behind me. Uh, and as you can probably see as well, it's uh, rather coloured up. Um, we had some rain the last couple of days. And uh, it's put this place up about 20 centimetres. Um, and it's pushing through, although it's, it's, just, it's still a nice pace, but it's coloured right up. Sort of pale brown colour and it's, there's about a couple of inches of visibility, maybe three, something like that. So it's going to be a different prospect than it has been previously. So I think realistically um, we're going to be looking to fish the slacker areas. Although, you know, where there's a nice steady flow, I'm not counting that out either. Um, got a link ledger rod with me. Um, what I've done, um, because there's a few tighter swims which I haven't really been able to fish, I bought my John Wilson uh, Avon quiver with the um, quiver tip section in the top. Um, that's 11 foot. I've also got my TF gear uh, all rounder and that's set at 8 foot. So I'll be able to get that into some of the tighter swims um, that there are up here. And I'll use that as well if I can because uh, it's got a centipede on so that'd be nice to use. Uh, both set up with link ledges although I may go on the feeder um, because with it pushing through a bit faster, you know, not sure exactly where all the bait's going to go. I don't want to be chucking bread and have it scatter everywhere. So that's the plan really. It's uh, it's about half two, quarter to three now. So we've got a few hours of daylight left. If you saw the previous but one video, um, that was on this stretch as well. But I've only walked about halfway up this stretch this time. So I'm going to work back towards the car. Uh, weather is probably looking, according to the forecast, it's looking a bit ropey. Uh, it's going to chuck it down in a bit, apparently. Um, but we'll see, we'll see how things go. Um, got me wet weather gear on, so I'm not, not a great issue. Um, the wind's blowing as well, as you can probably hear. So, uh, it, temperature's not too bad. It's, it's about eight or nine degrees. So, you know, we, we should have a reasonable few hours anyway, and until the rain, which is supposed to sort of settle in about half five, six o'clock. So, uh, it may rain a little bit before then, but, uh, but you know, as I say, we're all covered up, so not a problem. Right, I'm gonna, uh, just get my rod set up, get in here. This is a swim, uh, if you saw the previous book one video, uh, where I saw the barn owl. Uh, and I did have a chub out of here, so uh, good place to start, really.
put it in my hand. I had a bite and I thought I'd missed it, so I left it. Just pick the rod up and uh, it's on. Oh. Wow, that's a proper one. <laughs> wow. Well, as you saw, I had a little rattle. I went for the rod and I thought I'd missed it and it stopped. And I thought, oh, I'll probably have my bread because I've got bread on at the moment. And uh, put the rod up, and there he was. So, uh, very fortunate there. Uh, but I'm not quite sure why he wasn't pulling the tip round. But anyway, that's fab. Right, give him a little rest, and uh, we'll have a look at him. He's well rested. Absolute beautiful fish. Very, uh, oh, he's very cold. A very distinctive orange patch on his belly there. But wow, absolute mint condition. Beautiful, beautiful fish. That's fantastic. I've um, I've been just using a link ledger until now, but in this swim, I uh, I switched the rod over because I needed to cast onto the other side into the slack. And uh, five minutes, um, and I put on a, a small feeder just with the bread mash in, and um, five minutes with a piece of bread on the. Uh, on the hook, it's fantastic. Brilliant, I've never uh, never fished this swim before, so that's a result as well. It's a beauty. Right, I'm gonna uh, put him just down here in the landing net, just so he doesn't spook any of his mates, and we'll give it another five or 10 minutes in here. See if, uh, as I say, see if any of his mates are about.
Well guys, I'm going to call it a day at that. It's, uh, it's just gone six o'clock. Um, just had the one bite today. One bite, one fish. Can't complain too much at that. Uh, especially when I saw the river, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't dream of fishing the, the Avon if it looked like this. Uh, I have done in the past, as you've probably seen in my previous videos, and never so much as get a bite. So I settled for that today. One nice chub. Um, that's, I'm, I'm happy with that. That's great. I mean, it's, it's rained the whole time I've been here as well. I don't know if you can see this. The rain's going sideways. It's blowing an absolute gale at the moment. So, as I say, I'm going to call it a day. So, I think the next time you'll see me now will be Sunday. I'm planning on getting out Sunday evening. Um, uh, I'm going to go to the other stretch um, on this river. Uh, and hopefully it'll have gone down a bit by then. I'm sure it will. It drops and, and rises very quickly. So, I'm sure it'll have gone down by then. We're not due any more rain. Uh, after this evening so um, fingers crossed we can have a nice session so uh, thank you very much for watching enjoy your own angling tight lines and I'll see you again on Sunday